Okay, so this is our second video on solving a side using trigonometry. Uh, in this particular case, like we said in the last video, x isn't going to be on the top of the fraction, x is going to be on the bottom of the fraction, which just makes our life a little difficult, a little bit different. Okay, let's first of all go through our steps here. First step, label the sides. So we can see a right angle triangle, a right angle here, which means my opposite is going to be the hypotenuse, that's the hypotenuse. We can see here's our angle of interest, so the one next to it is going to be adjacent. Uh, it's this one here, adjacent, so that must be the opposite. Okay, next step, write the summary, things that we know and things that we want to know. We know that our angle of interest is equal to 25. We know that our hypotenuse is x, and we know that adjacent is 8. Now bear in mind there is an opposite side here, but we're not interested in it. We don't know what it is, and we don't want to know what it is, so who cares? Okay, look at Sokotoa, decide which of these ratios has A and H in it, adjacent and hypotenuse. Duh, duh, duh. It's not this one, it's not this one. Okay, so cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Next step, put all your numbers in there. Cos 25 equals 8 over x. Stop. Okay, this is the point where you need to have a look and go, what's next? In our last couple of videos, x was on, in our last video, x was on the top of the fraction, and so we moved something in a certain way. This time x is on the bottom, so we need to do something different. The different thing that we're going to do, watch carefully, we're going to take x. We're going to take cos 25 and we're going to swap them. Cos 25, x, swap. So that x is going to move to here and the cos 25 is going to move to there. So it's going to look like this in the next line. x equals 8 on cos 25. That's it. That's it. Grab a calculator. 8 divided by cos 25, we can do all in one line, and we get an answer of 8.83. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. We'll run through this one really quickly. Um, angle of interest, 49, so we need to now label our sides. As always, the longest side, the one opposite the right angle, is the hypotenuse. The one next to the angle of interest is the adjacent, and the one opposite it is the opposite. Write a summary. So we know that our angle of interest is 49. We know that our uh, opposite side is 9. And we know that our hypotenuse is x. Next step, go to Sokotoa, find out which ratio works here. Uh, opposite and hypotenuse are the things we're interested in. Uh, opposite and hypotenuse. So sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Put your numbers in. Sine 49 equals 9 over x. Stop there. Look at what kind of question it is. Is x on the top or is x on the bottom? x is on the bottom. Remember what to do when x is on the bottom. Take these two, swap. So the x will go on this side. And the sine 49 will go on the bottom. After that, just calculate 9 divided by 9 divided by sine 49. We get an answer of 11.93. Okay, that's solving a side using trigonometry. You've seen two examples now, one where x is on the top, one where x is on the bottom. In the next video, we're going to do our last little bit of trigonometry, um, which is finding the angle if you don't know the angle.